Well, we're going to show you how to fix a peeled off panel on a camper. Had a little, uh, a little incident. Yeah, accident on the highway here. So we're driving down a highway. This probably happened to a lot of people with these old RVs. So it's a 2001. One. Um, driving down a highway, doing like 65, 70, whatever. And I noticed when we had parked, I noticed the, you know, these panels kind of like shrink a little bit. And, and I it noticed started it like pulling a, up. It was a little gap. So I'm like, all right, man, we got to fix that when we get back home. Well, in the meantime. Yeah, that didn't last. Uh, well, in the meantime, we always carry a roll of duct tape. You know, good duct tape, okay? Which is a good idea to carry with one of these anyway. Duct tape and zip ties. Yeah. So, got back on the highway, and I noticed it was starting to flap, and I'm like, man, we got to pull over as soon as we can. Well, let's, let's, all right, the next rest stop or something, we'll just pull over and then tape it up. Well, yeah. it didn't make it that far. What? Right, right off sudden, the highway. All of a sudden, I saw, woof, right? So, this whole piece. We actually uh, found the piece, though. If you lose the piece, make sure you go get it. Okay, hopefully it's, it's still We got intact. lucky. Even though it looks ripped, it's and I'm going to show you what this is going to look like when we're done with it. You, you'll know it was fixed because it is one spot, but it'll be, you know, very it'll minimal. It'll still be all right. All right, it'll look good. Because other than that, you're replacing this whole yeah, side. Yeah, you, you can't. Okay. It's not like they're in pieces. This right. is one whole thing. So this is actually... Gonna, I'll show, uh, give me this little piece. You can see it pretty yeah. good. It's it's it's, it's actually a fiberglass. It's fiberglass laminate to the wood. So so you can actually see the fiberglass. All right. In so it. we duct taped it all the way around the seam. I didn't take any pictures of that. We just decided now to make a video of this. But we had duct taped it all the way around. We duct taped this back on around the window and everything, and it held up no problem. Drove all the way the rest of the way right. home from Probably Florida. Probably another ten hours or so. Yeah. But what happens is it it, it flaps because it was. If you notice this, right, there was a big gap. So we took all the, you know, rotted wood off of the panel. Right. So now and what then, we're going to uh, do is, we're going to, so now it's nice and flat, right? The only thing that's sticking out, or it feels like it's, is this. See this right here? Yeah. All right, so this is what you need to get. This stuff right here, 3M, it's a uh, marine adhesive, a sealant. Quick drying. Fiberglass, wood, gel coats. That'll yeah. stick to anything. They make two different ones. This is the red one. It says cures in 24 hours. We used the other one on something else. It says seven days it, it cures. Took too so. long. But we use that to bond. We use that to bond the wheel wells to the quarter panels. On his race car. So. Okay, so that stuff works great. I mean, we've been through crazy tire shake. Stuff never. Yeah, that stuff off. ain't come out. We don't hurry okay. any miles an hour with that stuff. Yeah, that stuff is awesome. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of that. I'm gonna get it behind this panel as deep as I could get it, number one. I'm gonna put a strap around here and stick this wood on it and suck it in tight. So that's gonna be the first step. We'll let that dry. Okay. Well, the first step was getting all the glue from the Gorilla Tape and everything yeah, off. Yeah. Okay, all the- That all the, sucked. Yeah, that. We've been out here for hours already. We just decided now to make a video. So we cleaned it all off, got all the residue off, all the glue tape off. We took that piece of molding off. We're going to replace all that. It's a just. It's somebody, actually. It's just an insert. It's, a, it's like an insert. It, it's, it's, it's all on, dried it's out. So we're going to here. we're going to replace that. We're going to replace these. It has nothing to do with what we're doing now, but we yeah. just took it off. All right. So we're going to clean all this, right, and then put that that stuff. You get it on Amazon. I just bought a whole roll from eBay, a hundred foot roll for like eighteen bucks. Okay. So it's just the thing. You just snap it into place, and it covers up all the screws, and it just makes it look clean. Okay, it has nothing to do with this, but or waterproofing it. Yeah. But it, it it covers the screws. It covers so all the screws. It all shrinks back. It, it does back. waterproof. So we're gonna we're gonna change it all the way around the whole thing. Okay, we're getting ready to to do some crazy traveling with this thing this summer. Now that uh, we're in the middle of the heat, so we're fixing it now because then we're gonna be traveling when the weather starts to cool down a little bit. It's 91 out today. All right, so we're gonna put the glue in there, the adhesive in there. Put a strap around here, put this on here, suck it in nice and tight. You're going to have to get another piece here so we can suck this in nice and tight. Let that cure overnight, right? And then we'll and do then the And then we're going to put the top piece on and then this piece on. We're going to glue it right back onto this clean surface. So and then we'll the glue will be all in here. 
all the way around. And the only thing we gotta re, it'll actually adhere to this stuff. So we're gonna re-glue it all the way around, all the way back on there. All right, and we'll show you what it looks like as we're going along. And then we'll show you the final product. All right, so trying to pack it all behind it a little trying bit. Trying to get it in behind, yeah. Make sure you guys wear gloves with this stuff. Because it is nasty. Alright. Make sure it's all packed in there. And that's the first step. And then that will... Don't don't touch that here. Give yeah. me it. Uh, no, I got it all on me. Here, just. I'll, uh, here, I got it. I'll get a nap. I, I need to wipe that off because that'll stick on there and it won't come off. All right. All right. So we got our block of wood in here. Just wrapped it around the door. Hooked it up to the window. All right. We'll let that sit overnight. Yep. We'll let that sit. Tomorrow we'll come back and put the rest of it on. Okay. All right. So we're gonna put. First piece on, we just put all the glue out. This, that's nice and solid now. This. This is the little corner piece. So we put some glue up in the, up in the seams. That stuff hardened up like a rock on the other side. Over right. here. All right, give me the. All right, that's that's gonna be good. Now we gotta do this. Might have to go get the other bottle. I already got it ready, so I'll put it in the corners, and then you could tuck it in there, just like that. All right, I need the other bottle. Okay. Give me that, and then you can finish recording. Make some lines. Just leave it thick because you know yeah. we tried maybe smearing it but might as well just leave it that way when you actually put it on it just squishes it all anyway this we got to do the seams so I think that's it Don't really spread too good, but yeah, but I gotta spread it or else it's gonna. I'm trying to get it on the edge so it glues the two pieces together, and we can always clean it up after. I'm gonna get the big piece. All right, that's all on there now. Now it's on there. Don't look half bad. Okay, so we'll get the straps around it. All right, Hold we're gonna put straps tight. around it, put two pieces of wood here and suck it nice and tight, like we did that piece. And, and then, then we'll clean done. it all up a little bit. All right, let's go. Okay. Oh, now that we're... All right, so we got first strap on there with some wood holding it. And we'll wrap the other one around on the other side. Let's put another one here, right here, and then a piece right here. Okay. All right, so a couple of days later here, it's been so hot you can't even come outside, but. So we got the panel fixed. Nice, nice and solid. So now we went and fixed the roof across, and we're gonna put this stuff on it. All right. So 
So let me show you what we got going on up here now. So this is nice and solid. So we fixed that, right? And now he's cleaning the whole thing down. What's up? He's cleaning the whole thing down now that the shade, a little bit in the shade here. It's got to get all scrubbed good. And then we're going to coat the whole top so we don't have no more leaks. All right. I'll show All you what right, it looks Johnny. like when he's done. Johnny. All right, so now they're rolling the stuff on, finally, like three days later because of the weather sucked. It's <laughs> Woo. So they did all around the edges. Now they're doing the yeah, rolling it. I'm getting it. Let me get up there, I'll show you. All right. You can see they got all the way around the edges done. This stuff is awesome. I'm gonna take the cover off the air conditioner so they can get all the way up underneath it. All right. Start rolling it. All right, we're up here. Second coat. Right up to the edge of that. This stuff is nice. So uh, it's been about two hours, and they can already walk on it. You gotta be very careful. You, you don't, don't want to twist, twist or, or tear you know, it, but it, it'll tear, I guess. But I mean, it's it's. It is nice. We had a little piece left over over the weekend. It's like a hard rubber tire. I mean, it's really really good stuff. So it'll definitely take care of the problem of any kind of leak for sure. And then it it does level out. So yeah. It looks nice and smooth, so you can see it's like even though nice when you put it on right now, it like right now like it looks oh well, you can't tell that bad in the picture, no. you know it's like rolling something on, but it smooths out and levels itself out. All right, let them finish that, and then we'll give you a picture of it when it's done. All right, I've been sitting out here for a day. And this stuff is nice. It's like hard rubber. So, it's all done. I got a new one of those uh, air conditioning covers coming. That should be here tomorrow. We'll slap that on and we're done. I got trim that goes back in here. Got that. I'm gonna put that back on it. On both sides of the top. Put new lights on the front. Be done. Let's go racing. Hope that helps somebody with this uh, car, with this uh, top, putting the seal on this stuff. Um, five gallons of that stuff was like 450 bucks, free delivery. You go on, uh, I think it was Amazon I got it from. Go online to find that, but stuff works great. Two good coats, five gallons, did the whole thing. We had a little bit, maybe a quart or something left over which we could have probably just poured the whole thing on and keep rolling it, but it's nice and thick. And this thing will be good for a long time. All right, no more leaks, no more nothing. We ain't got to worry about no leaks no more. Don't worry about parts flying off it. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you helped out with some of yours. And uh, hopefully you can use the info to fix your own roof. All right, talk to you later. All right, so the other thing we're doing is we're putting this trim on, all right? It comes in a roll, tuck it in. Basically, you tuck it in the top and then tuck it in the bottom. And it looks like that, all right? So I'm gonna do the whole thing. I trimmed off all the little excess stuff that was hanging off, like little, little stuff. I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna do this whole side and I'll show you what it looks like. So, in that trim. All right. Just keep moving down. It's a 100 foot roll, so it'll do the whole thing if you want. All right. Nice and clean, all done. All right. Looking good.